All right, how's it going? Back in my fridge again. Uh, tonight, I'm coming back onto this Triumph T100 Bonneville. I think the engine's a 2005 model, uh, building it for a mate of mine. And tonight, I'm going to start making the handlebars. Before I make the handlebars, I need to make some fittings first. The yokes, I've got a couple of uh, 29mm holes. In them, um, we need to get that sleeve down to 12 mil, so fit these big bolts in there. I've made a rough little diagram here. Uh, I've got this little lump of aluminium stock which I'm going to lob in the lathe and turn down, hopefully, into four collars that fit in the bars. That might be as far as I get to with this video. Um, I'll, ta I'll tag on the tube bending and that later because basically I haven't got nuts for these yet or a bit of steel stock that I can use to slug into the end of the handlebar to make it fit because I want them to kind of grow out of the yoke and, and come over the tank a little way like in the, uh, the, the sort of tie style I call it tie style because that's where I first saw it I've made this little drawing of what I want the collar to look like took some measurements off the uh, off the bars so 38mm is the distance across the top so I've got to machine that down to so 31.3 mil is the distance across the top 38 mil is the overall diameter I want it to be that needs to then step down to 28.8 probably 28.7 for a bit of clearance um, and then the total depth 29 deep basically I want a pair of collars that go top and bottom in the yoke like that and that bolt fits in the middle so I'll chuck that bit of stock in the lane now, set up the camera and I'll, I'll stick it on fast forward and I'll, I'll, miss, I'll miss a few steps out because you don't need to see a tool post going back and forwards a million times unless you really want to but there's loads of late videos on, on YouTube for, for things like that. Um, I'll just make this one quick for making these collars and then I can get on to getting the right bits tomorrow and bending up these, uh, these bits of tube to to make the actual handlebars uh, the whole lot will be getting spliced together in a, in a playlist there is some stuff on this bike already although to be honest i'd already made the frame before i even logged onto youtube so there's there's a fair bit at the beginning of the job probably a month or two where i didn't record anything so this is just filling in the uh filling in the end of it and, recording and documenting the uh, the diary of the, the last part of the build right back in a second when i got you set up over there Okay, so that's now a 38 mil. So what I want to do is put a step on here about 12 mil deep and then knocking that down to about 28.8, 28.7, something like that. So I want to I want to go about 12 deep on the cut. So I'll start setting that up. Scratch on it to mark it. I've said before, not an engineer, crew builder. Don't hate me.
about right there. Let's get the yoke. That's slightly tight. I wonder if it's because the alley's a little bit hot. I think that'll I think that'll go in when that's cooled down a tiny bit. I'll just give it a tiny little polish. I won't change the uh, the tool setting at all. I'll just give it a tiny bit of good inside that okay so now that I've got that step machined on there I need to repeat it on both ends of this and that end of that so then cut it in half that will give me four and then I'll machine the cut ends for one for the top and the other one recess for the allen bolt on the bottom so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll turn the camera back on once I've got these four things in my hand and ready Okay, so I've got the uh, line share the uh, machine and done. Um, two batches I've got here. Uh, these short ones here are going to be for the top where the handlebars mount. And these these two large, slightly larger ones, they're going to be where the uh, the bolt goes in through the through the bottom. I'll just bring you in a little bit closer so you see what I've done so far. Okay, so. We've got the, got the blanks all made and as you can see these guys just they're a good fit they they go in there like that what I need to do now is get them all back in the lathe and well here 12.1 mil all through each of them so I'll get them back set up in the chuck and get that done right, that's that's where that's up to. If anyone's into machining or whatever, they want to see more laid stuff, um, I'm happy to do it, but it's very, very time consuming and can make a boring video. So that's why I've fast forwarded through this bit. So I've just skipped forward for an hour or so while I made them. Okay, I'll get these in and I'll just start drilling and show you a little bit of that. And then I'll, I'm going to finish them off. Okay, so that fella's centred in the lathe. I've marked out the pilot. So bang this uh this twelve point one straight through. this rinse and repeat three more times so they're all drilled out now these guys that's how they're going to sit in there but rather than look a bit boring um, I'm going to uh, put a boring bar in the tool post and just machine a bit of a design into, in, in, into, the, into the top there um, Probably around the same size as the uh, as the tube. That's twenty eight mil. So I'll uh, I'll go ahead and set that up and I'll film some of that. But maybe maybe not all of it. These guys here, they're going to be uh, taking the the bolt there. I want to uh, I want to counterbore that the head of that bolt into the into the little boss so the whole thing sunk away. 
So when 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 the ball goes up inside the yoke, the end of the balls, you just see the flask there. Well, I'll uh, I'll get these back back in the lathe now and show you. So this is the bottom one where the the bolt's going to fit in. So the that shank on the uh, on the end of the bolt is about twelve mil. So I'm going to bore in about twelve mil, and the diameter is going to be just over seventeen. So I go want to go from twelve to seventeen, so that that head fits in there, neat. Uh, I'm not going to measure on the uh, on the scale there, but I know that that there is about the depth I need to go. So I'll just start this roll. A bit more. of the bolt fits in backwards so that means it's going to fit in forwards so what I like with that I'm just going to repeat that again remember the settings on the wheel here so I can copy it let's go Both jammed in there, but yeah, we got it. Okay, so we both of them out the chuck now. You see how the uh, the end of the bolt fits into that counter ball there. Uh, what I want to do now is put a radius on both of the, on both of these. Uh, it's a bit. It's not quite standard practice what I'm going to do, so maybe I won't record it, but I'll show you the uh, finished results in a minute. So bear with me a second. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one up for tonight. Um, it's quite late, so I've got work in the morning. But I've shaped these lower busts so they're just a little bit more easier on the eye. And the, uh, the edge of the bolt is still... Neatly hidden away rather than it just be a hex head or something sat there. The other two which go on the top, I'm not going to do any more machining on these just yet until I've got some bar stock and the nuts to make the slugs that go in the bars. I've, uh, I've got a couple of ideas and as you know with choppers, these things, you, you make it up as you go along. I, I, I very rarely have a plan. I just come up with it as I go along and that, that's what I've done here so I'm going to leave them there in the, in the fridge until tomorrow when I've got some more bits and no doubt that will make it into the uh, the next video um, I'll, uh, I'll no doubt I'll no doubt come up with more stuff as it goes along and each individual job I'll try and document it make a diary if anyone wants to see anything specific Please throw us a message. I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, I appreciate all the subscriptions. Uh, I'm just going to keep on plugging away with it for now. I don't think I've got anything else on at the minute unless one of my own bikes breaks again. 
Uh, so yeah, be lucky guys, keep it between the ditches, see you on the next one.